Hello. Today I'm going to talk about Finland. As you know, this uh, series of videos that I'm doing is really to apply Sun Tzu to current affairs. And the topic is Finland joining NATO. Now I must make it clear my premise. My premise is that I want world peace. I, the world should strive for peace. And one of the key fundamental you must realize to have no war, there must be no enemy. Right? To fight the war, there has to be an enemy. If there's no enemy, then there will be peace. And therefore UN is is doing a good job in, in having the United Nations, that all nations can be united and there is no blocks, this block, that block and you know. So I like to make clear my objective is to link, to relate a two thousand five hundred years so old Chinese work by a top strategies. A deep a mind of deep wisdom to current affairs. Now you'll find I posted the a, a poster and, and you can see it. And then you find you find that uh, Finland and then you have got Russia on, on the map. And then on on the right side, right, you'll find there is this the teaching of Sun Tzu. Two teachings, but they're actually from one key phrase within Sun Tzu. Really, and uh, as I said, if you want to study Sun Tzu, you've got to know Mandarin, you've got to study Chinese language. The West don't really understand Sun Tzu. They, I mean, well, I've been doing Sun Tzu for many, many years. I was inter interviewed by BBC World Park in 1997, when I my book became well-known in the in, in UK. And, you know, and the thing really is that I realized over the years that one well, of the reason why so it's not, it's not fully understood in the West is the fact that they did not study Chinese language. And it's important. Now Sun Tzu mentioned this aspect of it. And it's about forming alliance and, and joint ventures, you know, with, with, with neighbors. Sun Tzu always emphasize is very understand, very important to understand to know Mozart, the word Mozart, I mean, is what is the strategy? What is the purpose? What is the rationale behind before you join up with a neighbor, you know, uh, from alliances? And the, the times were there, Yi Jiao, Yi Jiao. Now, I've in the past been teaching NTU students on, on Sun Tzu Alaw and Mind of Sun Tzu. And therefore, I produced 157 cards, concept cards on 157 key concepts of 156, to be precise. And there, I sum it up and translate and, and pick up the key point. And the one is that never form an alliance unless you read the mind of neighbors. Now, ask yourself, why did Russia had to implement that special military operations. It, it didn't start on 24 February this year. The root cause goes back to 2014. And, and now the operations have manifested that Putin was right in identifying the fact that there was Nazism in Maripol. And the worst is about the weapon lab, the laboratory, 30 over. So what the operation in carried out in Ukraine was to ensure the security of Russia. And therefore we have to ask ourselves, all right, by joining NATO, all right, you worsen the sense of security Russia will have. No doubt we have said there will, no, there will no be no military bases, no missiles, but then the fact that you join 
uh, feeling during NATO, you identify Russia as an enemy. As I said, to have peace <coughs> is to have no enemy. So there is no war. But then by joining NATO, you, you, you feel and become identified at, to be on one side already. And of course, you find in, in the poster that I posted up, right, about evolution of NATO, how it first came about, and then I parcel out in why. I pass out, pass out in why the three countries that joined NATO in the year 1999 the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Poland. Now, these are the countries that were having, have been rivals, have had problems at, in the Soviet Union, right? USSR. So, if we all want world peace, then honestly, I mean, the uh, objective view, unemotional objective view, would be for NATO to be disbanded in the year 1989 when the Soviet Union right, disintegrated. That would have been the, the, the right thing. Then there will not be a, a, a you know, what do you call a, 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 an enemy and then, you know, and then you, a NATO that is fighting the Russia and, and, and Russia could be part of Europe. And, and even the Russian culture, I, the Russian culture is a, is a very rich culture in terms of music, in terms of literature, in terms of art, in there, and be fully accepted as part of the European culture. Now, all right, now, I'll move on now to something I think uh, to explain why were the Finns driven to, to make such a decision. Well, I believe that it is a shock behavior. The shock by the fact that, you know, Russia invaded Ukraine. Uh, that, that's one consequence of, of having to take a harsh action to ensure security, right? But that's, Russia has no choice, really no choice. I mean, you are encroaching, if you study history, what happened since 1999 and what the Russia have tried very much their best to integrate into the world and and what has happened was that it became, you know, uh, the, the, security, the security is put at risk, consequentially. So, and therefore it is, because it's, it's made in shock, it's irrational. If Finland were to think, the Finn people would think carefully. And you are different from Sweden in a way, because you have such a long border with Russia. And in World War II, you fought a war with the Russians. And there is a past rivalry, past hostility. And of course, you will realize that because there's no no buffer at all, so the risk is much higher for for there to be a conflict, for there to be a war, if that happens. And the other thing is hurt mentality. You know, it, it's a psychology that oh, if I join a group, I, I would feel safer, I feel feel more secure. But because you join a group, you got group obligation. You're bound to fight. And therefore, I like to close this simply by by advocating, based on Sun Tzu, right, that you should understand the mind of Russia, your neighbor, all right. Before and, and interestingly, all right, this neighbor you you got to understand is Russia. Before you start to join NATO, because NATO is a block that is set against Russia. And if you want, if you don't want to fight any war. Have no enemy. You have no enemy, and you don't declare Russia to be an enemy by joining NATO. The odds are, you be you be neutral, and therefore, safe. Thank you.